Hi guys, uh, my name is Eric and because I like Blender you can call me Blend Eric. Mm, I'm from Slovakia so sorry about my English language. Uh, I've I'm still just a beginner as for 3D modeling but I have decided to make this video tutorial so hopefully I'm not gonna disappoint you that much. Uh, the, what, I'm, what we are going to um, be modeling is uh, all based on my what I have learned from this Blender Basics Classroom Tutorial book uh, written by James Cronister. So uh, thank you, James, and I hope you don't mind that I'm using your book for making this tutorial. And here is a picture. Uh, what we're gonna get, hopefully. Nice landscape, a stormy night. Uh, with the lighthouse. Alright, let's start with the modeling. First of all, we need to make sure we are in the top view, so press number 7 on your number pad and uh, by pressing a space bar, add mesh plane. We need to scale it up a bit and do it precisely. Uh, the good idea is to press N on your keypad, on your keyboard link scale and change scale y to 10 and the uh, link scale button uh, will scale them all so we have our plane scaled press tab to go to edit mode press w and subdivide multi by holding down, down the shift key and uh, left mouse button click change it to 40 and double enter and now our plane has uh, 40 subdivisions press A to deselect and uh, press B twice to bring this circular selection tool uh, holding down the left mouse button and just drag and select like uh, half of the plane you'll see why soon. If you're not happy with your selection then you can deselect vertices or by by holding down the wheel on your mouse yeah or select back just like that okay right mouse button to confirm now we need to go to front view and uh, move these selected vertices up a little bit so press G to grab Z to keep it uh, locked uh, to move it about uh, I don't know, just straight up and by uh, holding the control you can move it up uh, about two blender blender grid blocks left mouse button to uh, confirm okay basically we can split uh, our work area into two yeah we need to go to out of edit mode and uh, basically we need the split area but right right mouse button split area so the right side we can use for a camera view and the left for working right press tab to go to edit mode again and uh, now we need to make this this is basically our landscape and uh, what we need we need to make these uh, cliff edge a bit more random and we're gonna do it by selecting the vertices and move them up or down a little bit so let's start uh, clicking what I do is click one then holding down the shift key and click, select some more of them like rand randomly All the way and 
and now just push them down a little bit this is good for beginning now deselect by A and do some do the same thing holding down the shift key and just selecting vertices and we can go again a bit just a little bit down right deselect by A tap okay and that's what we got we will make it smooth later on press tab to go to edit mode again I just I just want to make some hill somewhere in the back in the corner of this lens of this landscape of this ground and we are going to use a proportional editing tool so press it, uh, turn it on and we can you can um, actually experiment with different kind of falloffs uh, for this one I'm going to use smooth falloff so press G and uh, I'll press Z again and by uh, uh, scrolling your wheel on, on, your, on your mouse you can increase the area of influence and now just grab it up a little bit that's what I do so you can play with it I'm not going to spend so much time here but what I like to do is what I like to use is this one random fall off so try to this try this one now press G again and just move it up again it's gonna create nice landscape A to deselect and tap out of edit mode uh, we should uh, add a modifier in the modifier panels press this one and go for subserve modifier make levels 2 and now press set smooth button and uh, our landscape looks much better now well we will change the material uh, later because the landscape the ground shouldn't be glossy so we need to change some settings in here right uh, press 7 to go to tab uh, top view basically what we would to do now is save this file because blender doesn't prompt you to save your files so if you don't want to lose your work it should be good to save save it as often as possible blender okay I'll put it here and I will call it landscape and scene right. okay that's done uh, what we can do now just uh, click uh, somewhere here on the side and add and um, we're going to add empty basically as a target for our camera uh, we need to make sure that we, we are able to create nice uh, uh, view, nice camera view and we can do that by target by using an empty as a target for a camera yeah? so now uh, select the camera first now, then sh hold down the shift key and select the empty press control T track the constraint and this is gone this is what happened you see that the camera now A to deselect uh, select the empty move it somewhere in the middle of our landscape and in the right viewport when you will press zero you see your camera view basically and now on the left side if you select the camera and G to, to, to uh, grab and move you see that the camera is always pointing to um, our empty <coughs> which we're gonna use later on right so that's it uh, basically